So as we talk about the chakra system in terms of stages of development, then, uh, as we move towards a discussion of the relationship between the third and the fourth chakras, let's play a little bit with the ideas. Let's play with the sense that at the first chakra, the statement might be, I exist, I will survive, I have a right to be here, to take up space in the world, to protect myself, to stand up for myself, and to take pleasure in my existence in my body. And at chakra two, as we move from one to two, not only do I exist, but I exist in relationship to you. There's a sense of self and other, and there's a gradually developing sense of identity through that relationship between self and other. And not only do I exist in relationship to another, but I exist in relationship to mommy and daddy, to boys and girls, and I develop a relationship to my own identity as a boy or as a girl. And this is sort of the early stage of relationship and emotional connection and sexuality. And then at the third chakra, we start to go up into, again, a yang expression. So first chakra, very uh, yang, assertive, I exist, I'm here, I will survive. Second chakra, oh, I exist in relationship. There's more of a receptive yin kind of quality about it, just to play with the ideas. At the third chakra now, I want, and I can become independent. I can start to differentiate myself from those early um, sense of, of being enmeshed with, uh, with mommy and daddy um, into becoming more of an independent self that has boundaries, that knows what I want, that can say no to what I don't want, and that can start to move into the world in a way that takes action relative to what my desires are and who I feel myself to be. And so at the third chakra, we can think about a sense of um, the healthy ego in terms of what that term, what that phrase really means psychologically, that the third chakra is all about the healthy ego and that really the first three stages are about all of that early psychological work that for many of us has to do with what happens in the family um, and how we form a sense of self.